How's everything? So, uh, I decided to go with a uh, different game today. Uh, just to see how people like it. And I'm going to be eating on. Uh, sorry, going to be eating this hard candy that I have. It's a uh, pomegranate. Supposedly organic. Tastes good. Okay, so this is one of my um, all time favorite games. This is uh, Final Fantasy VII. I just started this, but I uh, had to lower the volume setting so. I didn't start it from the very, very beginning, but it's not too far off. Uh, so let's get into it. Okay. So, right now we're riding the elevator and uh, Cloud's on this mission with uh, Barrett. Barrett's the one in the middle and Cloud's on the right. So, Cloud is kind of a uh, not caring too much about knowing everybody, he just wants to get this job done and get out. And Barrett is all about wanting to do the right thing for the planet. And not just the planet, you know, for his people too. So let's continue. The planet's dying cloud. The only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and the RoboGuards come. You see? He's not too sensitive for the mission. He just wants to do his own thing. It's okay. is a pistol on his arm. It's like a pistol gauntlet or machine gun gauntlet. And Cloud uses a buster sword. Everybody has their own unique weapons. It's going to become more um, complex and uh, Diverse once we get the materia. Materia is um. Hold on. Push okay in front of the ladder to grab onto it, then use directional button to climb down. Of course, I know how to do that. Let's do it. Delicious potion. There's a safe point down there. The background's a little bit pixelated, but I think it's because the image is stretched. Whoa, got a battle at the wrong time. Let's see. Take out the side guys first. Basically, be in real time, 
so. Alright, got my first save point. Great. Awesome. Oh. Back attack. They get to go first. Save that for like the boss. Or, you know, something more stronger. In, um, in here, you, uh, to get a higher level limit breaks. Basically, it's like a better special. A better special ability. You have to keep using it constantly. Oh, look, put this on the floor. Store material. Okay, so we're gonna go to. I think it's equip. See, now he has um, two slots in the weapon. Now I'm supposed to be able to select material into there, so let me see if it's in magic or if I can even do it at all. Um, probably not. I think it's right here. I'm supposed to save material and I'm supposed to be able to equip it. No matter. We'll just go on. Okay. When we blow this place, it ain't gonna be nothing more than a hunk of junk. Cloud, you set the bomb. Shouldn't you do it? Just do it. I gotta watch to make sure you don't pull nothing. Fine, I'll do it. Watch out, this isn't just a reactor. What's wrong? Huh? What's wrong, Cloud? Hurry it up. Yeah, sorry. Oh, this pomegranate candy is good. Heads up, here it comes. Okay, time to use my limit. This analog control is so sensitive. I should probably use a D-pad, but I gotta change the buttons for that. Maybe next time. Man, cloud's getting clobbered. Make 
survive, I think. Cloud is good. Come on, princess. Let's go. You're right. My leg got stuck. Thanks. I think if she dies, if you just let her be like that. I don't know. Every time I want to go help her, though. <laughs> I never found out. I don't want to be a douchebag. You know, I'm so glad the weather's warming up. snow has just been, I don't know, annoying I guess because having to shovel my car out multiple times and then driving and the school cancellations is just, I don't know. there. Now this whole thing is a Mako reactor. I think it basically harnesses the uh, Mako energy that uh, basically surrounds the planet. That should keep the planet going at least a little longer. Yeah. Okay. Now everyone get back. Aries. Excuse me. Flower girl, what happened? You'd better get out of here. <laughs> to hit on her or to tell her to get out of here. Nah. Really? I don't know what's going on, but alright.
want some EXP. Want to be prepared for the future. Can't just be running all the time. Plus, I gotta make sure I am, um, I have to be a man. around you guys. Enough babbling crap. the 
last train. Oh boy. Please don't bother the other passengers. Someday I will just gonna be famous and me too. This train hasn't switched to security mode yet. I'm sure that will change by tomorrow. Stop acting like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. You see the headlines in Shinner Times. The terrorists that bombed the number one reactor are based somewhere in the slums. Blowing up a reactor. They sure put some thought into this one. They must have a real calculating leader. I wonder what they'll do next. Huh? This is my house. So make yourselves at home. Hey Cloud, you want to look at this with me? It's a map of Midgar rail system. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors, you know, flash stuff. Okay, it's about to start. This is the complete model of the city of Midgar. It's about one ten thousand scale. The top plate is about 50 meters above ground. A main pillar supports the plate in the center, and there are other support pillars built in each section. Psst, whisper, The number one reactor we blew up was in the northern section. Then there's number two, number three, all the way up to the number eight reactor. The eight reactors provide Midgar with electricity. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembered them. Instead of names, we referred to them by number sectors. That's how things turned out. Whew. Look, what's next? Look. This is the route the tra this train is on. The route spirals around the main pillar. We should be coming around the center right now. Each checkpoint has an ID sensor device. It checks the identities and backgrounds of each passenger on the train and is linked up to the central data bank at Shinra headquarters. We definitely look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. Speak of the devil, that light means that we're in, in the ID security check area. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. We're almost back now, what a relief. Look, you can see the surface now. The city don't have no day or night. If that plate weren't there, we could see the sky. City. Pretty unsettling scenery. Huh. Never expect to hear you. Never expect to hear that out of someone like you. You're just full of surprises. The upper world. A city on a plate. It's because of that bleeping pizza that people underneath are suffering. And the city below is full of polluted air. keeps draining up all the energy then why does everyone why doesn't everyone move onto the plate don't know probably because they ain't got no money or maybe because they love their land no matter how polluted it gets I know no one lives in the slums because they want to do it's like this train it can't run anywhere except where it its rails take it
this mission was a success. But don't get lazy now. The hard part is still to come. Don't y'all be scared of the explosion. Because the next, next one is going to be bigger than that. Meet back at the hideout. Move out. Just keep doing your magic because those little tickle bites don't do nothing. Okay. I'm actually gonna try to find a safe point. Cut the video here. Sorry if this wasn't too entertaining, but this game does get better. This is just the beginning. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and um, if you want to see more of this, just let me know in the comments, and I will continue this. Uh, so, I'm basically either going to continue with Final Fantasy VII, or just keep going with Strider. But either way, I'd like to know what you guys want. Just so, um, make it a better experience for everyone. 